Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of our VGC 2020 Battle Series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and today we're going to be playing a team. Very excited to be playing the third place finishing team from the IC over the weekend, the online tournament that has just taken place and finished. Uh, if you guys did take part in the tournament, of course, as always, please leave your comments down below. Let me know what teams you played and how you got on in that tournament over the weekend. Cantfly underscore SS is the Japanese player players username on Twitter uh, who created this team and had that third place finish. Uh, his blog is also linked down in the description as well as all his social handles. So go and check out the blog and give him a follow over on Twitter. Very fun team. Obviously got a lot of uh, fun and innovative, uh, innovative, if I can even speak. What's wrong with me today? Um, choices and, and text and things like that. So it'll be really fun. Uh, looking forward to it because I haven't actually played Charizard Venusaur this season on the channel. So um, it'll be a lot of fun. Been trying out lots of weird and wonderful things. Uh, if you're wondering about my rating at the minute, um, I've got a really cool kind of Grim, uh, Gigantamax Grimmsnarl team that I'm trying to, to finish off, which I will feature here as soon as I do get it finished. Um, but yeah, that's why the rating is all over the shop. But anyway, on to our first opponent of the episode. They're playing a team of Dusclops, Rhyperia, Gastrodon, Incineroar, Bishop, and the Dragapult. So, lots of things to consider because the Tyranitar on this team is a weakness policy. It kind of is minimum speed, so you want to be getting it under a trick room. The only issue here is we're going up against a Rhyperia that's going to be probably slower than it. Also with the weakness policy and uh, also the Gastron doesn't really help us out too much in that respect. But, Coven Knight doesn't do too bad against the majority of this team, to be honest. The only thing that we really need to be super scared of is the Incineroar, which it can't even intimidate us anyway. So that's something to think about. Um, how do they stop the Charizard? I mean, we could go G-Max Charizard, just get um, a Wildfire off just to get like the chip damage onto the field as early as possible. That might be a nice way to do that. And then... Um, if we can get an Iron Defense with Corvin Knight as well, it kind of does help us. But we probably do want to have T-Tar. I'm going to go for this. I'm going to go for this lead. I'm going to test, try, try it out. Let's see what we do here. And then our last Pokemon, we probably want... Hmm, I mean, we could use Dusclops to reverse the Trick Room. But uh, let's go Venusaur. Because Venusaur can handle like things like Bishop, Incineroar, and the Gastrodon pretty well, as well as the Rhyperia. Um, especially because we've got the Life Orb Earth Power, which really does help us out there. Um, it's just the, the Dragapult that will be a little bit of a, an issue, but we'll just have to approach it a little bit carefully. You know, we've got T-Tar as well, so it shouldn't be too difficult to get around. Okay, well, so we've got Dragapult, we've got Incineroar as our lead from our opponent. Um, I guess the one thing that I didn't really want to see was kind of I want to get the Covert 9 set up with the Iron Defense as soon as possible because it's got the body press here. Um, the issue is that we don't really want to um, leave it in front of the Incineroar either way. I mean we could just go for an Iron Defense but um, like I say I want to go for this uh, do I go for an airstream and switch in Charizard? Uh, T-Tar. It's not like <laughs> it's not the best thing to do, to be honest. Because uh, we could go the G Max. We could go airstream right now into Incineroar, but we're probably better off going for the Dragapult. It's going to be the one thing that does cause us a few more problems than not. So we'll switch in T-Tar just to be safe. Keep Corvi around for later. I think like. It's difficult, isn't it? Because like Corviknight, it feels like one of those Pokemon that's going to be really useful at the, like towards the, the the latter stages of this game. Um, I'm not going to see anything Dynamax on my opponent's side of the field. And although we're not going to really be doing that much damage to the Dragapult, it's more about the residual chip damage that we're going to be getting every turn, especially when we're stacking it with the sand. Pretty nice. Um, if we can get an Airstream or a couple of Airstreams up as well on top of this, it puts us in a decent enough position with T-Tar to start actually hitting things before they can they can do lots of things to us. So there's a fake out from Incineroar just going for that turn one. You turn into the Charizard. That would have been perfect if it had been into uh, a <laughs> Tyranitar. And we'll see what they bring in. I mean, 
I'm kind of happy that the Dragapult's getting out of here. It resists the fire. I mean, other than Rhyperia and Gastrodon coming in, we should be alright whatever we hit. And the Sclops. So oh, that's, that's actually alright. Okay. But we didn't. We went for the Airstream, which is fine. Like, it's totally fine, isn't it? The Airstream, it does so much damage with a, a massive critical hit. Okay. But the Tito are going to be super fast now we can just rock slide and go for the blast burn uh, or the g-max wildfire and that should be enough to get the the dust clops i guess the worrying part is if we see ally switch that could be a little bit of a problem because i don't know if rock slide would get um the dust clops by itself let's see let's see what my opponent goes for here It's like the airstream did so much damage, but yeah, the crit the crit makes total sense there. Okay, right, there's the ally switch. We feared it. Okay, well, I mean it. They're not going for a trick room, right? So it's not the worst thing in the world, and we probably will, with a combination of this and rock slide, get the incineral. Um, unless unless we it avoids, of course. But no, <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I mean, we don't hit the one we want. The rock slide there onto the dust clops would have been nice because then it would have definitely meant we'd take it down the next turn. Fortunately, we do see a parting shot come out from the NC. Um, what's coming in? Dragapult, potentially, or oh, Rhyperia. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Um, the wildfire stack here is is super super useful, super useful because now like a rock slide will get will get ball. Um, just we're likely to lose Charizard here. Um, do we go for a rock slide again? I feel like I need to go for a rock slide to be honest. Um, the right period probably maxes. But I, do I want to let the trick room go up? Not really. No, I definitely don't because, like, we want Corviknight not. We want Corviknight to get at least a, um, an iron defense up before the Rhyperia can hit us. And we don't really want the Rhyperia proccing that weakness policy either. So I think just getting damage onto the board right now. Okay, well. That's still fine. We'll get a little bit of extra damage with our Charizard here. But yeah, it's like nothing. <laughs> the crunch would have been a lot more reliable uh, since we missed last turn. Hopefully Tito's got his goggles on here so he does actually hit and we prevent the, the trick room from being set up. The problem is now I guess um, the Incineroar coming onto the field with the, the, the fake out. Uh, our Dynamax turns have finished. But, I mean, the, the wildfire damage onto the Rhyperia already is insanely good. Um, but we probably want to get Tito out of here. I think we keep Tito in particular for the, the Dragapult later on in, in the match, so we can definitely close that up. Um, we could just protect the Charizard. It's a little bit risky, though. The thing is, like, even through the protect, um, we're probably not getting really that much because if they go for a max rock fall into Charizard, then they definitely pick up the knockout here. Uh, I'll go for a blast burn just to get some last ditch damage off, and we'll bring in overnight. It's a bit of a shame because Titar had that plus one speed, so it would have been outspeeding the Incineroar for sure. Um, now that we've switched out, probably not going to be. But if we see a Max Quake here, I mean, it's fine. We've got two Levitating Pokemon, well, Flying Pokemon, Levitating, whatever you want to call it, on the field. So, I mean, <clears throat> if you're going after the T-Tar, which would make sense because you want to protect your Incineroar, then we kind of waste the turn of the, the, the Dynamax turns at least against my opponent. And we get a Blast Burn off. Uh, there's a Fake Out. It's into that slot. T-Tar... We get the blast burn. 
It's not really big damage, but at least it's some damage. And we see the rock fall, it's going to be into Charizard. So, I mean, we're not getting, we're not losing out there by any means, I don't feel. Uh, and now we can get um, Venusaur. Um, and I imagine oh, we could sleep powder, we could sleep powder. Um, because a body press probably gets the incineral from this range, I reckon. But an any like an energy ball, a life orb energy ball definitely gets the right period, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I think we don't even need to mess around here. I think we just got body press into the incineral and, and energy ball into the right period, and I think that gets it. I think without the, the trick room up. The Rhyperior is going to struggle against this sort of build, and Charizard's done so much work already. Um, wow, okay. That's a big call, switching up the Rhyperior. But I mean, I guess not as well. You're going to lose it either way, so... Is the energy ball... And it's just about a cover knife being faster than the Incineroar, really. That's, that's the main thing. Yeah, and we are. So, I kind of thought we would be. Uh, there's a body press, and I don't feel like there's much my opponent can do now. Uh, I mean, Sandstorm subsides. The Dragapult probably is going to be able to get Venusaur, right? The Wildfire is just insane. The Wildfire is such, like, this is the one thing, like, I love Colossal as well, because the Colossal's got the, um, the, the G-Max Volcler, doesn't it? It's like, it's pretty much the same, just a rock type. Um, instead, now do we double? Do we double the Rhyperior? Good Iron Defense. I'm gonna just Iron Defense actually, because if the Dragapult tends to be more on the, the standard side, it's gonna be physical, right? So an Iron Defense is gonna be to help us out regardless here. There's a chance the Dragapult could go Phantom Force, and I don't really want to target into that slot and waste waste the turn on my end. So, um, Energy Ball, if we get it off into the Rhyperior, I'll definitely take it down. And this Venusaur's pretty bulky as well. It's like, it's not just your standard 252, 252. Um, Rhyperior does protect, that's fine. Uh, ooh, Thunderbolt. Ah, okay. But I mean, it's not even, it's not doing enough is it it's just not doing enough there's a brave bird now a brave bird and uh well we can just double the right period to be honest because we've got teetar in the back we don't even need to take the risk um hmm. talking about doubling like i wouldn't like are they gonna have flamethrower they don't have life orb so i don't think it takes the venusaur down either way uh we just yeah, that's just Brave Bird. Dragon Pulp. There's no way this, this Rhyperior is doing anything to cover Knight. It does go for the double protect. There's another Thunderbolt. So, nah, that's fine. We're going to be able to lock this up. Okay, it's into Venusaur this time. I guess just clicking whatever just to try and get some damage on. Um, but we do pick up a win. Um, weird i feel like we just brute forced our way through this battle it's a bit of a weird one this is like literally as well my first game with the team so i'm still like learning the team and i'm gonna be like i think playing a lot with this team i really like have a lot of time for it there's a lot of pokemon in here that i think are really good this season like Corviknight, i think really good right now Titar, it's another one another favorite pokemon of mine like i've used like every season it's ever been available and it's always been very good other than like the, the um the restricted pokemon when they're in it's not as good then other than 2010 2010 was uh Tito was really good i'm pretty sure it was on was it on the the second place team at worlds like, yeah i'm pretty sure it was um but yeah yeah other than that it's always been an amazing pokemon uh venusaur another one that i do really like uh talk up uh, everything on this team i like so i mean that's that's one of the reasons why when i saw the standings it was really cool um we've got piera up next playing a team of togekiss dusclops mandibuzz it's a nice pick at the minute mandibuzz i do like it i'm just going to stop a minute just talk about that because it's got the overcoat ability so it does give it the immunity to uh sleep powder 
uh, which is quite a big thing in this format um, and it does have access to things like um, Tailwind, Taunt, Roost, uh, Foul Play, it's dark typing as well so it's really nice, it's flying as well so just having that immunity to, to ground type attacks is, is really nice. Um, Alright, and then made up with the rest of the team is going to be Lapras, Aegislash and the Dominitan. Hmm. Well, 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 I mean we could go Charizard, uh, <laughs> we could go Charizard and Torkoal, to be honest, like as a lead, it's not bad, kind of stops my opponent going for the trick room, I don't really, yeah, we'll go with that, we'll go with that, because I can, I can do something with Torkoal that we've not talked about yet, which is pretty good, um, other than that, what else do we want, do we want Corvi here, hmm. I think Tito would be pretty nice, it's good against Two flying types and Dusclops, and pretty good against uh, Lapras as well. And the Aegis Slash, depending on the set, of course. Um, and then we could probably just round it up with Dusclops, try and get a Trick Room up late game, because I don't think there's too much really that slow on my opponent's team. I think Min Speed, T Top, probably under speed, the majority of the, like, the, the, the threats that they've got to us, so. I'm just imagining like the end game with like Dormanitan and uh, if we hadn't brought Dusclops then you know that's kind of done isn't it if you play the Dormanitan well here it is here he is the big white boy um but I think like having it late games pretty nice and um, we've got to be careful here though because obviously uh Scarf Rock Slide or Banded Rock Slide what's it gonna be though is it gonna be Banded or Scarfed I would imagine more Scarfed in this sort of team Let's have a look. Uh, can I see? Can I see Pokemon? You can see Pokemon. I imagine it's probably Scarf, more Scarf than anything else. Makes me definitely want to switch things around. Um, it's definitely going to be a Rock Slide that comes out. There's no way that we're going to see like. Uh, I don't think an item will crash. I mean, one thing we could do is just potentially switch in Dusclops. And just go for a heat wave. Yeah, because I don't think a rock slide and a foul play would get us here. The Dalmanitan actually gonna retreat here. We're gonna see Lapras come in. Um I don't mind this. And I'm pleased I've left Torkoal on the field. Let's see what this mana buzz goes for. It probably goes for a tailwind. So it's a light play on the Lapras Rocket Helmet. Nice. Interesting. Ah, that's not. We don't want to lose that. <laughs> That's the one thing we don't want to lose. Okay. Get the heat wave. We do miss the, the burge, which is a bit annoying. But, I mean, we get some big damage onto the Lapras there, which is really good. Um. Okay. What do we want to do here? Hmm. Do we want to go for the Trick Room? I don't know if we do. Uh, I mean, we can do. I think it would be useful, wouldn't it? If we can get the Trick Room, I don't think we're going to be able to. Um, we'll go for a Yawn into the Lapras because this will completely shut down any uh, Dynamax turns that they go for now. So uh, this is a really nice tech that I saw on the team, uh, the Torkoal. I didn't even realize Torkoal got Yawn. Um, so just having access to it. Um, as soon as they saw it, it was like, right, let's breed one up. Let's get one. So it, it, there's plenty of stuff as well. I'm sure you've got Pokemon in your box with Yawn. Like, I think I bred mine with a Meow Stick with Yawn, which also has to be bred onto it, I think, I think, pretty sure, um, but yeah, it was pretty, pretty good, um, so I thought, yeah, this is a really good way, and, and how he described uh, using it was to, to really disrupt Dynamax Pokemon, oh, wow, we survived, we just did 2 HP, that's insane, okay, <laughs> well, that's fine, um, and I mean, we're going to get a Trick Room up, which is really nice, uh, we do get the Yawn off, also really useful um, and I think we keep Torko for later on in this game um, hmm. and then we could ally switch but they probably target Dusclops I think they probably do the one thing we could potentially do is bulldoze and switch into Tito it's just I don't want to take a guy I don't want to take a max geyser that's the, the big thing here um, let's go for Nightshade into the Lapras and 
I want to keep talk all around for later. I don't really want to lose Charizard either, to be honest, but it's probably the best thing to lose right now. Or do we just lose Torkoal? Let's just lose Torkoal. Let's just do it. Uh, let's just go for the double up into Lapras here. Defense drop, which is always useful. And the Nightshade, yeah. The max resonance. So they're going to get that out. That's going to be into. Okay, just pops. Should take it. Yeah. What's this Mandibus going to do? That's not ideal, but I'm hoping the top all goes down here. Yeah, okay. Because we can't, we needed the Dusclops to stick around. Uh, the Lapras is asleep now, which is perfect. Um, which allows us to get Titar onto the field. Um, get our weakness policy propped. Well, actually, do we want to not Dynamax with Charizard? Because uh, Titar, I should say. I think we'd be better off trying to get a max airstream with, with Charizard before the trick room ends. That would be my, like, oh, oh my god, I need to see how many turns of trick room. Okay, we've got three. Three turns of trick room. Okay. I think we do that. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna bulldoze and I'm just gonna rock slide. I don't even want to, um, I'm not going to max Tito yet. And then we still got the option. Because it pretty much comes down to whether or not we can manipulate um, the field with our Charizard or not. Like, if we can get a boost up before, Do like, if Don Manitan's out in the field, then that, that works out perfectly. If we can get a flinch on the, the Mandibus here, that's what we want, really. We take down the Lapras, take down the Mandibus just below 50% health, which is ideal. Like I said, if we can get a flinch onto the Mandibus now, that'd be huge. Um, <laughs> yes, we get it. We ask, and the gods reply. <laughs> okay, um, which is perfect. Okay, so what they're going to bring in now? They do have the light screen up still. Uh, the the um, Aurora. Aurora okay. Hmm. Max darkness <sighs> behind the veil. I don't know if we'll get it. I don't know if we will get it or not. Um, we might be better just going for a nightshade and then going for because I think the Dusclops probably does the Dusclops go for uh, a Will-O-Wisp that's the that's the question or does it go for because we could be cheeky and just got ally switch here and go rock size because I, I got a suspicion that I'm going to see Will-O-Wisp here and I really don't want T-Tail to get burnt Ah uh, no, it's going for the trick room. It's going for the trick room. Okay. Can we get rid of man buzz. Okay. But this is alright. Ah no, we do see a Willow Wisp. Okay, that's way better. That's what we want. Because of Dom Manitan coming now. Um That's ideal. Wow, our T Tart is We got the trick room up? This is really confusing, because like how did T Tart under speed this locks? Oh, I guess we got the bulldoze. That's not minimum speed dust clubs. Okay, okay, that makes more sense. The brain's hurting people. Don't judge. Okay, um, right. Uh, what are we? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we with this? Last turn of trick room. Okay. Well, I think we just go max now, and I think we go for the matter turn. Do you have Willow with an ally switch? I very much doubt it. And burnt, I still think we get um, the Darmanitan. Maybe we could rock slide, but we're probably better off just going for this. And do we go ally switch again? Or do we just play the mind game? I mean, why wouldn't you if you've got it? <laughs> I'm just going to be that guy. We'll do it, we'll see. Um, Darmanitan should go down here. So. It's still not over, but I mean, like, Titar should be able to, to deal with Dusclops. And then we've got Charizard in the back as well. We're going to lose Dusclops here, uh, of our own. Let's see what this Darmanitan It could be Sashed. It could be Sashed, you know. But even if it is, it's got to guess right after the ally switch. 
and it will still go down to the sand. So yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Please guess wrong with your will o' wisp again. <laughs> oh, I hate that. You know when you do it yourself, you're like, they're never gonna ally switch again, and they always ally switch again. You're like, God's sake, <laughs> why, why? such a bad it's a horrible move it's a horrible move I'm not endorsing it and then in comes our Charizard so we'll just go for a heat wave and then go for um, max darkness oh there we go let's see how much damage we do not that much but respectable max darkness okay we like speed time the whole time then? I, I don't know how these speed tiers are working. We must be. We must be speed time. Anyway, we do pick up the win. Uh, that's two wins today. That's really nice. And um, yeah, just nice showcasing the team. And even though I feel like I've got a long way to kind of go with learning the team and, and seeing how it actually all it's like little intricacies and things like that um i still feel like it feels like a really really nice solid team which you would expect from such a high finish as well